This video, we're going to be breaking down the Kansas City Chiefs offensive playbook at Madden 25. Uh, and just kind of going through here, it's got some nice uh, red zone stuff with wing tight nasty, wing tight left. Uh, these runs are really good. You have deuce close with a 0-1 trap. Um, but this formation, this offense in general, has a really, really good bunch X nasty type formations. We've got some motion flats, motion trail uh, type of plays out of a five wide look. We have tight wide flex with a jet sweep wide zone in zero and trap. Some good plays in those formations. You also have uh, this strong jumbo fullback dive. Really, really good red zone run. And this strong jumbo does have a power O, which is pretty nice to have. You have strong wing with a fullback dive, halfback dive, and then a motion, couple motion runs. Pistol bunch tight in with a jet touch pass, a halfback dive, halfback counter, and a speed option. So some nice little kind of gimmicky red zone plays. You do have the RPO uh, auto motions and RPO read flat wheels uh, here in the deuce close. But really the main formations that we want to touch on are these uh, shotgun formations, these three wide receiver sets. So you do have tight Y off, kind of a standard uh, tight Y off. It does have zero one trap. It does have a jet touch pass and it does have tight end corner, which is probably the best uh, play in this formation. Has flex close with some auto motions, uh, some unique kind of auto motions to the tight end. Has tight Y off weak with the post wheel drag play. Uh, normal off close, which is a formation that you're starting to see a lot more in the competitive scene. Uh, it has Y off trips weak. And then the formation that I wanted to focus most of this video around is this Y off trips nasty. This Y off trips nasty formation is uh, only found in a couple of playbooks and it is really really good so a couple things about this formation that you have you have this play motion drag um this play motion drag is really good because it has a short post on the right hand side uh that's going to do a really good job of beating man coverage it has a wheel route attached to it as well uh we're going to actually come out in an rpo play in this offense and then you have a couple of other plays this motion pivot flood halfback swing uh the best play in the formation is really this rpo read flat but we're going to throw uh, a couple of plays in here we'll actually have the auto motion uh basic inside zone dagger whip is a great play with that little short whip and then pa double post is kind of the best plays in the formation and then you can obviously audible from wild trips nasty to wild trips weak it does have some uh some use here so you have an rpo with this rpo alert motion dive you have motion corner which is kind of a unique little combo uh with that short corner route you have this motion shock option that you can kind of turn into a streak and then from there you can kind of do you know whatever you want with the other plays i really like having this motion halfback swing in here just as a quick read uh and uh, a great little red zone type of passing concept also real quick this formation does have some really cool stuff uh that you can do in the red zone it has a bunch x nasty it has bunch strong nasty and bunch y flex uh, this bunch strong nasty has some kind of unique auto motion plays and uh, things like that you have tight open this is one of the better tight opens in the game because you have these short corners you have these whip routes um, so you have a lot in this playbook uh, that i think is worth exploring but again we're going to spend most of our time today in this y off trips nasty and really based in the offense out around this rpo read flat so this rpo read flat is really good because you can throw this out here to the tight end and then because you're in a four strong formation it's almost impossible for them to defend this RPO without having to make a ton of adjustments. As, as you see here, um, this slot corner is the pitch defender. If they were just to put him on a hard flat, you'll see that when I press, he becomes the read defender. When that defender becomes a read defender, that means that he's always going to play the quarterback. So you'll see he'll always come inside, and then it just literally just out leverages the defense. And this is just basically a free five yards, free 10 yards. This breaks down almost every game, every defense in the game that has a slot corner on this right side. This is going to do a really good job of just breaking down because as you can see, that slot corner it doesn't matter if they pass commit. It doesn't even really matter if they man it up. I'll show you that as well. So let me just jump into a man-to-man -man cover one robber. And as you can see here, um, this doesn't even give us a defender icon, so he's going to be completely isolated. 
But you see, manning it up doesn't necessarily make this play it better, uh, which is kind of crazy uh, to me. But also, the other thing is pass committing. A lot of people like to pass commit this year to stop RPOs. You're going to see, watch this read defender. He's still going to come down. And so this is just a really, really hard RPO to defend. And honestly, ultimately, what typically is going to end up happening is they're just going to use her the RPO. That's how good of an RPO this is. Obviously, if this RPO is defended, all you have to do is just let the game hand it off to the running back. As you can see, this is a good handoff to the running back. Another thing that you do have with this RPO is if you hold A uh, or X, it will keep it with the quarterback. So you can pass the ball to the tight end, you can let the game hand it off to the running back, or you can hold X and let it run with your quarterback. So it's got kind of a triple threat type of play that can really just break down a lot of defenses and is very, very effective. The next play that we're going to take a look at here is this motion drag. Now, as you see, there is a little bit of a tell to running this, but I think this play is so good that you want to be running this anyway. So what I like to do is I like to stem uh, this tight end down, streak this solo wide receiver, and then you can really do whatever you want with the running back. And what you're going to see is he's going to take a step or two in, and then he's going to run across the field on a really short drag. So you have that read, and then you have this really nice short post. And I love that short post in this offense. So you also have with PA double post, you do have a short post from your slot receiver that I kind of wanted to get into as well. So uh, with this, what I like to do is you can just simply streak this solo wide receiver. You can uh, streak this outside receiver, and then you can take your outside player and put, or your tight end and put him on a little corner route. Kind of have like a high low read here on this right hand side. But this short post is so good. You just see, watch this short post just get across the field, and it just beats and breaks down coverage very, very well. So I'm a huge proponent of having short posts in your offense. Another play that you have in here is this dagger whip play. Uh, I think this play is really effective. And what, the way I like to run it is with a speed out to this outside receiver. And then basically what you're going to do is you're just going to build around this. So you're you're going to essentially, against zone, um, you're going to hit this whip route right in this little pocket. Super good. And it's just hard for the defense uh, to be able to consistently defend this. Another thing about this play, dagger whip, is that you do have a C route and a nice seam streak to the tight end. So what I like to do with this tight end seam streak is we'll typically do something like this here on this left side and basically create a combination like this. The reason I like this combo is because against cover three and cover four, these seam streaks are unbelievably effective. You'll see here this tight end, he can kind of break down coverage. A lot of times that inside quarter will actually, they'll switch stick onto him and he'll go guard somebody else. Let me show you what this does against cover three. It's a little better against cover three. Let me go back to dagger whip. And again, just streak the slot. Uh, you could come back or speed out this outside guy. I like to corner and underneath uh, the, the running back. But you'll see here against like a cover three coverage, you'll see this is even better. As you can see, he'll just split that safety. And it's almost just, it's basically like you can't really play uh, cover three. Now, if we want to break down the cover two coverage, uh, one of the best ways to do that is to go back to this PA double post because you have this post right on the outside. So what you want to do if you're trying to break down a cover two is you're just going to simply stem this post up one tick and then you can put the slot receiver really on whatever you want him to be on. I like just a simple drag and we're just looking at this corner route to the left side. We have kind of a high low between him and the drag. And then late in the play against cover two, this is going to be a big hitter over the top for a big play. I'll show you that again. If you're getting a lot of cover two, this is something that you can do. And I would really just stem this up one. It's really important that this gets stemmed up one time. I would corner route this outside receiver. And then really everything else is up to you in terms of how you want to do it. Um, you can drag the tight end uh, if you wanted to. And then you could, you know, corner route this outside guy. Uh, again, it's it's really up to you however you want to run this combo. But this is really good. The main thing here is this backside corner route. And then when he cuts to the post, you're going to hit this as we get instant shedded off of a three-man rush. Because practice mode is just the gift that keeps on giving at times. Let me see if I can show this to you one more time. And then we'll take a look at some of the other plays here. But again... You know, even a, even something like this is perfectly fine. Uh, you can kind of do whatever you want to the right. 
But the big thing here is once he kind of gets over the top of that linebacker, you just throw it right in here, and this is going to cook cover two. So again, we just kind of force them to have to run a lot of cover four, and we're always mixing in this RPO. This RPO is unbelievably effective, and it just breaks down coverage really well. And then once they start to run a lot of cover four hard flat to try to stop the RPO, one of the things that I like to do is you could pretty much do this out of any play in the formation. I do like um, this motion drag, but again, let's just go back to uh, PA double post. So you get the play action blocking of PA double post, and then all you're going to do is you're just going to flat your, your slot receiver. You're going to corner out your tight end. You're going to fade uh, this outside receiver. And then on the back side, you can really do whatever you want. I like to just a simple post. One of the things that you can do that I think is really good is a 15-yard in route on the back end. So, so super deep. But this is a really, really good play. And what you're going to see here is this tight end corner just gets to the corner really quickly, which is why I like it so much. It's going to do a really good job, specifically against cover three and cover four. It's not necessarily a great route against cover two because this short corner can kind of get, get uh, defended pretty well. But what you're going to be able to do here is let's show you cover three. You see it just gets there quick. And then if they switched it to the corner, you can throw the fade over the top, of course. But then the other thing that you have on this play is let's say that, because this is going to totally happen, they're just going to basically start usering the right side of the screen. So you have to have something that's going to threaten the left side. And what we have in this play is this backside in route. So what typically will happen because you're running a fairly deep in route over the middle is you'll be able to kind of throw it in these little pockets in behind the yellow zones. What I like about it is it's deep enough that it gets gonna get over most of the yellow zones, but then it's you're still gonna be quasi all right, uh, just in terms of your overall combo. The next play that we're gonna go over, uh, or another variation of this play is this dagger whip play. We're gonna take the running back, we're gonna put him on a flat route to this left side, and now we're gonna try to run a little bit more of a combo on the left. So what I like to do is we're mainly just trying to threaten this left side of the screen. So we're just gonna have a streak and a tight end post. You can stem this tight end post down one tick and it's gonna run like this. But basically what you have is this running back is gonna clear everything out for this whip. And you can throw this whip kind of in this little pocket. The other thing that you have, though, and this is what we really want to be able to do, is we want to break down the coverage to the left side of the screen. And so with this short tight end post, you're going to see here that this is going to do a really, really good job of that. You'll see here this tight end post is just going to kind of get into an area of the field that just breaks down coverage well. And then you have that backside in route if they decide that they want to user uh, the tight end. Another variation of this setup that you can 100% uh, utilize is just a simple slant to the tight end um, and then a flat to this, this uh, whip route like this. This is perfectly fine, and I would even make that in route run a little bit deeper. Uh, I, I really like about the 15 to 20 yards on these in routes, and you'll see against cover four, look at this deep in route just kind of get into a an area of the field that's very difficult to defend. The yellow zone did ultimately defend it, but in general, you, you kind of have that uh, in, a, in a nice soft spot. You got the PA double post with the short post. The other thing about motion X drag that I like to do is – um, you have this short post, you have this wheel route, and then, I mean, literally just something like this to me is very, very effective. You can always uh, kind of mix in some different motions, but in general, these short posts are so good at just breaking down the coverage. You'll see here, uh, see how it just runs real, just slightly better in my opinion than an in route. You can still use a deep in route if you wanted to keep a little bit more disguise. You could use the deep 15 yard in route you know, and then and then basically run the play like like this, for example. You'll see see how we kind of set this up. But essentially, all we're trying to do with this play is just threaten this left side. One of the other underrated elements of this offense is motioning into a five wide receiver look like this, because what we're able to do is just kind of create different alignments that are going to give people trouble. And as you see, this tight end post really gets into a nice area of the field. The spacing in this formation is really effective. You're able to pretty much, um, you're able to just do a lot of stuff with the spacing on this. Another combo we didn't really touch on yet that I did want to get into is 
um, which I didn't mean to flip the formation. Another combo that we didn't quite get into yet is a little bit more of like a seam streaky type of type of route. So what we're looking for on this play in you can do this all you can basically just freestyle out of all this, but uh, we're just going to streak the tight end. We're going to corner the slot receiver, stem him down one tick, and then we're going to uh, have this outside receiver, and we can put him on either a curl and stem him all the way up or a fade. I like the regular streak as opposed to the fade or a curl that's stemmed all the way up, just because it's going to get into a better area of the field. And then from there, you can either put the running back on a table route and have that have that backside streak or backside in route. Uh, we know in this game, three streaks is an effective route combo. Or you could do this right here. But what I like to do is have a flat, and I like to have about a 10 to 15-yard in route like this. And again, what this breaks down really well is cover three and, and cover four. So you'll see that corner route runs quick, gets to the sideline. You're able to just kind of break down the coverage uh, really, really easily. Another thing that we didn't get too far into out of PA double post is you have this short post, you have this, and then you can kind of build around this route. So one of my favorite ways to do that is we're going to put a speed out on the outside trips receiver and go to about 10 yards. We're going to drag our tight end, streak our uh, receiver over here. And then if you wanted to, you can put your running back on a streak and you can actually stem him up. Anyways, what you're going to look for here is this space is really well. It's kind of like a Durham setup from a spread set, but that gets into uh, kind of a, a nice area of the field. And if they are running cover four hard flat, which is pretty common uh, against a formation like this, then this speed out is going to give them a lot of problems on that left side. And then the high low on the left is uh, going to, or the speed out is going to give them a lot of problems on the right side. So you see here, just kind of throw this uh, to the sideline up into the outside gets into a nice area of the field over there. And then another variation of kind of a combo that I think is worth at least mentioning would be just something like this. Uh, the reason I like this play is just because it's kind of an inverted flood, but this C route is going to really, again, we're just threatening kind of these outside areas of the field. I don't know why he didn't uh, run that a little better. Let's see if we can get that a little bit better this time. But this is basically just... Uh, very similar from Bunch, but you're just going to pass lay down into the outside. Deion Sanders playing out his mind, but essentially you're looking for that corner route on that outside uh, that I think is worth, you know, just kind of giving a peek. Again, this uh, motion drag play, What the reason I like it is it has, it has a short post on this outside, and so you can just kind of build around that. So, you know, I really like this setup personally. Um, you have the wheel route as well. This is going to do a really good job against cover two because you'll see that this deep half will get influenced by the post and then this can be thrown over the top of that cover two coverage. But all in all, this formation uh, just poses a lot of threats to uh, what people want to do uh, defensively. One of the other things we didn't get too far into was this backside solo corner. When you put the solo receiver on a corner against cover four when he cuts the outside, that deep quarter is going to do nothing. And so this is, you know, this has been kind of the story with zones this year, but this is a great way to break down uh, zone coverage. So, I mean, even something as, as simple as, as this, I think is really, you know, even this is just a really good way to break down coverage, but you're going to see that this quarter is never going to defend this corner. So it's wide open to the sideline. And so what that forces is it forces a cover two on the left forces a cover two on the right side. And then that's where we can kind of get into, you know, some of our deeper post routes. Uh, this tight end whip, you know, you could kind of do a combo like this and this tight end whip will get in, or uh, wheel will get into an area, kind of in the seam area of the field that's pretty good. So this is the Chiefs, why off trips nasty. Again, the whole offense uh, is really just powered by this RPO. This RPO is the key to the offense. It's the play that you basically just always have. They're going to have a lot of hard... It's very difficult for them to stop this. And then once you get them over here usering this play, then you know you can kind of go to some of your other plays. Also, in this playbook as a whole, it's pretty easy to audible to something like this. And now you have a running back swing screen that's kind of hard for them to defend. And then you have a, a little bit more of a dedicated solo wide receiver. So you could do something like this motion corner. Uh, which I think is pretty good. 
you'll see here if I just use watch this kind of like interesting little motion from the tight end and then you just have that that corner route that's really really effective just got to get a little bit more vertical the linebacker carries so much in cover four now uh, hook curls carry everything it's insane uh, but you also have this motion shock option play uh, in which you could stem the tight end all the way up and kind of break down cover two and you see here you just have kind of some seam straight threats in this regard so this formation is a great little secondary formation uh, to be able to go to because you can get to it so fast you have an, a couple really good plays you have the arch uh, auto motion plays you have uh, this little rpo dive uh, which is really good it's kind of similar to a degree to duo and duo is the best shotgun run in the game this year and then you also have um you know you can always get into like bunch flex which is like a really underrated formation in this year's game because you can run combos like this that are really hard uh, for the defense to defend so you still have a lot of power in your audibling within this offense and you also have you know probably the best rpo in the game uh, within this playbook so this is the Chiefs playbook if you guys want to check more out about this Chiefs offense or just take your Madden game uh, to the next level make sure that you join our school community school.com slash Cody Ballard 10 bucks gets you access to all of the offensive and defensive ebooks that we have available over there and uh, gets you access to everything for Madden and for college football so thanks for watching the video I hope that you enjoy this little mini scheme and make sure that you check out our school community at the link in the description